All right, let's try this again. Try to get the guys back in here. Okay. All right. Take two. Oh, guys, I'm so sorry about that. Uh, greatly apologize. Thank you for coming back in. In here. Dave. Now, do that sound a little bit better? Yeah, that sounds better there. Oh, okay. I'm going to add the other guys here. I'm going to add John. Kind of mishaps. <laughs> I know, I know. We ran into this last time. Okay, there's John. How's it sound, John? Hey, a lot better. A lot better? Okay, I'm going to add uh, Arden in here. <clears throat> I turned mine down too, just in case. Okay. Hey, Gardner, how's that sound, brother? Does that sound better? Yeah, it sounds good to me. Okay, I'm not touching anything. <laughs> just sit still and not move. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everybody, for coming back. How's that? No echo? Sounds good? Sounds great. Okay. So far, so good. All right. Um, let's start this over. So, Dave, what are you using? <laughs> so, to start it off with, I'm using Sterling Barbershop. Um, just an old classic print. I love it. Um, I'm pretty much, I'm using Sterling Brush, basically a fat boy. That's it. Very cool. Okay. Well, Is that good. Good no. No. Not me. Can you hear that, Joe? All right, keep going, brother. Go ahead. That sound better? Yeah, everything sounds good to me. Okay. No, I'm fine here. Okay. All right. All right. John, what you got? Uh, I'm using American Vintage. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Got the splash, and there's a tobacco in this. So for a bomb, I decided to use here. So you'll see uh, Havana being Okay. Very nice. And the razor I'm using is the home that I won on uh, uh, BBS Live. That's a beauty. Jason donated this. I don't know if you remember that show. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. That's that's beautiful razor, man. Oh, I love that razor. Beautiful razor. Yeah, and I want to try that. I want, uh, I'm here. I'm going to smell that uh, American Vintage is right over here to my right. I'll probably check it out here in a second. No, oh, it's good. Yeah? Love it. Uh, hey, Gardner. Go ahead, bud. So, razor, timeless, titanium, slim, open film. Nice. That's great. I've ever used it. And um, I sold everything else. That's one of the reasons I use it. And then, as far as I guess brush goes, no surprise, mine. This is the first <laughs> first one I ever poured and turned myself. And then I sent it to a straight gold shape with quite a few different not in it. Um, so, as far as soap goes, I never replied to it. So, this is one of the first soaps I ever got. And it's one of my all-time favorite soaps. I can't get it anymore. I contacted Will at Bear Stern Man probably a dozen times asking him to make it again. And he said that not everyone shares my love for it, so if I can get enough people to ask again, they'll do it again. So here's my offer to everybody. You CC me on the email or send me a copy of the email that you sent to Will asking him to make this again, you get five bucks off of the unlimited amount of time. 
<laughs> and it's Sunny Lane. Oh. I don't yeah, think it's that one. That, yeah. But it takes me back to being a kid. I grew up on a farm that smells like clover. And it, I absolutely love it. So if you can get Will to make it again, I will be forever in your bed. Nice. Yeah, that needs to happen. I was going in a whole What's other that? direction. I think John knows what I'm talking about. What's up? I thought you didn't. Wasn't uh, Barrister Man the one that made, uh, what was it, Night Music? Yeah, it didn't. Yeah. Uh, you know? So, uh, all right, so they're telling me to mute myself to see if it's me. I think they're saying that I'm too loud. Is that still no. echoing? I never had any echo at all. Okay. All right. All right. Well, let's get our shave on, guys. I'm drying All up right. over here. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah. So. No, I'm using the uh, fancy arrow light. I forgot to mention the brush. Ooh. Oh, I didn't even say what I'm using, man. Um, yeah, I'm about to say you kind of late to the party, man. <laughs> so I got Atomic Pumpkin because the fall is my absolute favorite time of year. I'm using this set, and for balm, I have uh, Mysterium Serum, and I have the, because, you know, for the shave of the day shoot, this is the only orange brush that I have, which is a cream soda TRC brush, and then we got the 3D printed uh, Razor Company bowl in green. And then for my razor, I need to put together, I have a uh, British Tech Ladies. And I'm going to be using a, since it's all PAA, I'm going to use the Strange Lit Blade. Okay. Yeah. Nice. <clears throat> yeah. And you guys ever use the Tiger Blades? I haven't used those yet. I got them, but I never used them before. I don't know if I'm a fan of them or not. <clears throat> yeah, I, I guess you're supposed to be sharp and Astro Green, but I don't know. I don't like it so far. That's my favorite. I use it. Yeah, I use it. I love Astros. Both are in the house, back from the trenches. I forgot to mention that I don't know if you guys have ever used Repair Up Blades. Yeah. I like, I like those a lot. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Dust blow this leaf. <laughs> I got it. Don't worry about it. It's actually in my hair now. I I I pre game before I hit this before I hit the streets. <laughs> Yeah, Astro Greens are good blades, man. I like those. The, um, Me too. I, um, our, uh, our daughters use those uh, in the uh, the leaf. The leaf. Yeah, that's why I use them. I use them in the leaf in my uh, garden shade. Yeah? Yeah. Yep. So you're, uh, Dave, you're, uh, your twig, do you, you have just the twig or is it the thorn? Uh, I got both. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. I like my. I just have the the regular twig. I like it. Yeah, the twig is it's, it's loud, but it's not bad. I've had my eye on the twig. You guys like it? Yeah. Oh, I love it, man. For a quick yeah. shave, you know, I mean, it's like a no sense, no nonsense kind of thing, you know. It's, it, and it's half a DE blade, so you're getting your your blade stash to last twice as long. Think of it that way. I don't know any single single way to it. Yeah, but yeah, it, it's it's nice. I like it. Like I said, it, it's I can whip it around real easy. I almost brought it today. Um, it's basically a non-stick shave. You don't have to worry about you know. Trying to find an angle and all that other stuff to get basic shaving. Right. It's the brains that got break right there. Hi. 
<laughs> My wife and daughter both use twigs and they love them. Oh yeah? That's awesome. So we got uh, for the I got my sheet here. Uh, we got giveaways today too. Uh, Carlos Shavon Gents is doing a twenty dollar TRC gift card, and to match that, Jason, because he's Jason, he's awesome. Uh, yeah, Jason, the he's fan. right. And he's matching and above and beyond matching. So he's doing two Razor Company twenty dollar gift cards. So we got we got three gift cards to give away today. Okay. That's cool. That's what I'm talking about, man. Legendary. All of us have been pretty good on doing the giveaway yourself too. Yeah. Great generous. And thanks, Jason. Yeah, thank you. Thank you He's Jason. lingering. He's in the back cave. He's in the back cave. I was excited to see his fist on camera. Oh, I know. I don't know if we'll see it today. We may see a, uh, we may see a finger, a thumb. I know people keep trying to freeze frame and get his fingerprints. <laughs> You gotta do him like uh, bars. Yeah. <laughs> so I was catching up on everybody's uh, content, and uh, man, you guys are killing it, bro, uh, Dave. You know, I love your positivity, man. What you bring, you know, I appreciate it. that that speaks to me, man. That is so awesome. You know, so I just, so, you know, I like your style, the way you do things. I like how you bring that on your on your on your video and your shorts. You know, that's very inspirational, man. I like that. I appreciate that. I mean, for the most part, when it comes from the same part, you know, what I mean, because everybody else is special. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's nobody out here that you know of that, that don't go through something. So at the end of the day, I try to bring that positivity to people so people can have that sense of, you know, realization. Because, you know, you can, you can feel, you know, everybody can feel a certain way. But, like, when you actually break it down, it works yeah. better for you if you have a more positive attitude towards it. You know what I mean? You go to work every day, you do relationships every day, you do with people all day. You gotta take care of yourself. So self care is a is a major thing for anybody, everybody. You know? Yeah, truly, man. It, you know, it's it's something that you know in this this day and age that just anything that we can get when it comes to being you know uplifted or you know fed into it, it's it's much needed this you know this day and age, man. That's so awesome. So, yeah, I definitely need to more videos. <laughs> I Stay tuned for more videos. Minute, so. It won't be long, but yes, I, I haven't posted in a while, but I'm sure I'm coming. I'm definitely going to get back. I think this part will be the spark to get me back in. Well, I'm excited to see what's coming, man. Very excited. Appreciate and John, it. John, oh my gosh, brother, you're crushing it. I've learned more from your channel than all... 12 years of high school. <laughs> really? Thanks, man. <laughs> There's just a random... I don't know. I forget my guy. But, yeah, I started talking about random stuff and I kept finding random stuff on Wikipedia. Yeah. Dude, it's so awesome, man. I just... It, it, the stuff that you got on there is so cool. So Thank cool. you. I like it a lot. I like I like the way you're I like the way you're you know that format that you're doing and bringing it together and tying it with your shape. That's that's so awesome, man. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, yeah. And then being fed, of course, you know, all of our uh, dens need to keep growing. That man stuff over there, you know, with all the AKA patients, need to be flooding into our dens, man. 
And yeah, I was I was fanboying on your on all the different brushes that you've had in the past, you know, on your Instagram and stuff. Wow. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous work. Yeah. Gorgeous work. I can't believe I've made so many. Every once in a while I look back and yeah, but that's done better than I thought it would be, that's for sure. Uh, uh, yeah. I got a question. Has there ever been one brush that you wish you could have like put for yourself? Um, about eighty percent of them. <laughs> so I have like um, hold on. That didn't look right. <laughs> um, this beauty right here. Oh wow, that's nice. So this was a, oh, wow. uh, a gift from Gardner to Jason. So, wow. That's beautiful. That's a one of a kind beauty right there. So this is his. And uh, if you look closely, you might be able to pick up a fingerprint or two. So free spray that, grab it, send it to uh, you know whoever that you know over there in the department. <laughs> but no, this is this is just gorgeous work, man. Gorgeous work. Look at that. Man. Smells like him, too. It's good. <laughs> so, uh, Gardner, so when did you get into it? When did you get into uh, this rabbit hole we call wet shaving? Um, much like everybody else, I guess. Uh, <laughs> See, the lockdown had just begun, so it was probably around April of 2019, and my job was essential, so I had to work, so I had to wear a mask every day. And it, whenever I shaved with, because I had tried some of those subscription razors like earrings and all of those, whenever I wear a mask, shaving with those razors, it, my face would be on fire by the end of the day. So yeah. I just started searching, there's got to be a better way than this. And the first thing I found was the one blade. Okay. But that seemed even more expensive than what I was currently using. So that led me down the next search of there's got to be a cheaper way to do that. Which my first razor that I bought was the Game Changer. And that's been ever since. Nice. <laughs> So when did you start churning? Um, coming up on two years ago. Um, w once I really got into this, my favorite thing was brushes. I loved the variety and the colors and the shapes. And, yeah. And a friend of mine had laid, so he invited me over and said, "Can I try making something on your laid?" And it was like an instant addiction. That's a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. But, um, I first off just started making some for myself, and then a couple of friends liked them and asked if, they, if I'd make some for them. So then I made some for them, and which led to make and sell these. Nice. So are they all? They got into wet shaving too, or are they like? Yep. Yeah, I got them into it. <laughs> so they yes. they can thank me for their. Uh, yes. Lots and lots of soap that they. One of my my brother in law mentioned that he never thought he'd own this much soap in his lifetime. <laughs> Same. I think we could all attest to that one. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever see the bottom of a tub. It's just not going to happen. I haven't yet. Not, not even close. Same. Same. Yeah. That is awesome, man. Well, we love your work, man. Absolutely adore it. Uh, Thanks, Crystal's right. brush that she has, my Never Alone brush. Wow. It's just, it fits, it's just beautiful work, man. I, we need to talk because I want a um, Oxford colors, blue and gold, or blue and, it's like blue and yellow, like royal gold mm -hmm. for, for Oxford. Um, Cause we live in Oxford and it's coming up on a year for when uh, the incident happened at the high school but uh you know we love our city we love our town so um uh, we need to talk about it. i want something i want to get something made you know, you know in those colors if it's possible you know i love doing custom stuff 
done quite quite a few of them over the years. So people want specific things, and yeah, I love doing that. Yeah. 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 No, I'm sure it sounds cliche, but I couldn't do any of this stuff without all of your guys' support. So mm. I'm indebted to your continued support of the business, and I thoroughly enjoy doing it. It's not my full time job, but. It's definitely a passion, so I, I appreciate you guys letting me have that out a lot. Yeah, we enjoy your work, man. We look forward to much, much more, I'll tell you that much. Yeah. So, John, over there. Because um, I know JMAC got affected really well when it came to the hurricane. Did you guys get anything going on in your area at the Cape? As far as what, I'm sorry? Well, I mean, like, the, you know, like weather, things getting shut down, stuff, you know. Just... Oh. Uh, no, we had a couple of, couple of thunderstorms. We had a couple of thunderstorms coming in. We didn't get anything too bad. Thank you. It's about 45 degrees here. It's a nice day today, actually. Yeah, we're going to be looking at almost 70 today, which is weird because yeah. it snowed that like earlier last week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, we haven't, we've been lucky so far, thankfully. Wintertime, probably something after you. Because stick, we stick out in the Atlantic Ocean, so we get hit with some weird stuff sometimes. Yeah, there's no rhyme or reason when it comes to. Uh, planning anything here in Michigan you have to wear yeah. you have to like at least pack like three different you know summer clothes fall clothes winter boots yeah. park yeah. Up, you know on any given day <laughs> don't you guys have some weird way you have yeah. some weather that blows in off the bit yeah, this is, this, Michigan is where like you know weather forecasters go to die so <laughs> 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 they enter their career and you know they just want to be done this is where they go. They come. Nice to, they do news for Detroit. <laughs> so now, um, I know me and uh, Gardner, we're we're Michigan folk. Yep. Bottoms in the uh, at Cape Cod. Dave, where are you at, man? I'm in Baltimore, Maryland. Oh, okay. Hello, Baltimore. We're all East Coast. My weather is iffy. My, I get all four seasons and my weather is iffy. So <laughs> yeah. it can be warm one day, cold tomorrow. It can be 75, it can be 30. You know, we get a little bit of it all. Like right now, it's like 35, but it's going to be 65 today. So it's kind of iffy, you know. But hey, what can you say? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's the weather. You can't predict it. It just happens. Yeah. So, we got here. We got 39 people. Yeah, we're almost yeah. at 40. Like, we to, can we make that 40 bowl? That'd be good. Yeah. And I was the last one finishing up here. You guys are way done, man. I'm taking my time. No, no <laughs> you good? I just love the smell of this soap, man. I can't get over the smell of this. Pumpkin oh, that's, on yeah, top that smells of, really good. Yeah, pumpkin on top of the bay rum. Yeah, it's very nice very nice so get into this yeah all right let's start giving some stuff away oh bbs live in the house <laughs> get in there get in there um what we got 40 now we're at 40 okay we got here let's uh let's pick a number we we'll start giving away these three gift cards that we got here. So first one we'll do is from Carlos Save on Gents for twenty dollars to the Razor Company. Uh, Dave, pick a number, man. Um, between on, one and lucky, lucky fifteen. Fifteen. Okay.
Hopefully he can use it. Lee. <laughs> ah, oh man, Lee. Lee. Oh, come on, come on. Awesome. Yeah. Congrats, Lee. Congrats, Lee. Heck yeah. Lee. Oh, I don't have the ink pen. I gotta write that down. Everybody remember Lee won. <laughs> Lee live in Hong Kong, right? He, right he's around, in right? Thailand. In Thailand. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. He's in Thailand. Yeah. And he's he's awake right now. It's like what? Today said it's like what? Like three o'clock Monday over there or something? Wow. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Cool. Thanks, man. Um, like hours ahead. Yeah, I think they're like eight hours. So it's like what five o'clock, five thirty there right now. It's crazy. Well, thanks for keeping us, man. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah. There he goes. All right, Lee. Good people. Beautiful head. Man. Have you seen his head? Gorgeous. <laughs> uh. All right, we got another one here. This is for another twenty dollar gift card to the Razor Company, number one from from Jason. So, John, pick a number, man. One to four. Uh, I'll do twenty-eight. <laughs> All right, Kidman 27, Stephen Mackey. Steve Mackey. Congratulations. Yeah. The way I think about it is like $20 is just like entry level as far as getting you in in the door. Because you're going to yeah. spend more. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to buy more as soon as you walk in. Yeah, and then, I mean, and then for the free shipping, you got you know, you're going to do that anyway. So... You're gonna go above that anyway. You save money that way. Yeah, exactly. See, I like your style. So get in there. You know, add some, add some gear, add an AKA brush. You're good. <laughs> Heck yeah. The twin gets you to spend a hundred dollars. He's exactly, exactly. You spend a hundred like that. I mean, I probably spent it just sitting here. <laughs> so. Um. All right, Gardner, you're up next, man. One, two, 39. Pick a number. Six. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> that's easy. <laughs> oh, nice. Let me see. Wait, let me make sure I got the right one here. Oh, I was counting me. Okay. Nope, I don't count. All right. Stacks reviews. Stacks. Yeah, nice. Yeah, man, stacks. Yeah. Congrats, yeah. yeah, congrats, man. Ooh, my shave den is in here. What's going on? Dude, I don't know if you guys have Apple. I do. I love that app. I have my whole hey, den cataloged. And that's a I lot. I haven't tried that yet. Yeah, it's... Me neither. Right. Yeah. Um, I have Android. Oh, man. I know. Yeah. It's all right. I've used, I used Android since back when they first hit, I mean, like Android version 1.0. So, uh... I've always had Android, but then Crystal got an iPad, and then I kept having issues with my Pixel phone. I'm like, I just went to the dark side. So, <laughs> and uh, but that was the one thing that sold me on it was because the My Shave Den app is only on iOS. So, um, but if you have an iPad, he's got an update coming out where before instead of just seeing it in just the standard mobile view it's going to be a full screen view if i'm losing you guys i'm sorry <laughs> but uh that's awesome man because you can you catalog your den you can hit like ever use that uh the roulette button on it where you can like randomize and it'll pick for you your shave so i like that that's nice that's it, yeah, it's called the uh, the roulette, and you just hit the roulette button, and it'll random. So you can choose, you know, brush, bowl, blade, you know, uh, soap, balm, everything you have cataloged, and it'll randomize, and you pick, it'll pick for you, whatever type of thing you want. You get some crazy. I've done that once or twice, so I'd have like. You know, like Grosso or something, and like, uh, like Cider House Five Bomb, and then cool. <laughs> you know, 
but uh, yeah, yeah. yeah it, it, it's pretty sweet. I can't speak enough on it. I know they were trying to get through to work on when it comes to Android, but it's a whole different platform. So it's uh, my best advice is to get an Apple device or an iPad, you know, load it up. It's, it's well worth it. Yeah. Well worth it. If you have a, a den more than, well, like all of us, if you have an inventory more than two or three soaps, you know. Yeah. 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 I so, buy a whole other camera for mine, so. Uh. <laughs> Same. Yeah, we're at, we're getting to that point. I've been I looking at Shelby. You know, got a minute. For a minute. But, uh, <laughs> you hate that because you want something so bad, you know, so, uh. You know, it's a process. Of things around. Yeah. Then, then convince the wife that you need it and why. Yeah, I mean, we could it's all a, easily just get by with, uh, you know, a stick of Arco, but I mean, who wants to do that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid the catalog might do the same here. Yeah. Then you'll start giving a rough estimate of how much you might have spent. Yeah, the good thing is you can't put price in there how much you spent on it, so that makes it easy. <laughs> Ooh, we got a question. Okay, let's go. Oh, what fragrance will y'all be wearing today? Ooh. That's a good question. That is a good question. Uh, that is an excellent question. Um... Uh, mine's coffee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right now, leather and rosewood. Yeah. Um, I might wear diesel from Foster. I have worn that a lot. Nice. Well, I mean, since I'm on a sterling kit today, I'll probably do a sterling frag. All the things. Um, whatever I feel comfortable wearing. I don't know. Yeah, the good thing about with a barber shop, I mean, you could, you that's a well, well rounded, you know, you can compact onto that, add onto it, you know, different types. Yeah. So, yeah. Garner, do you got any, you got any fragrances? Yeah. One of my favorite fall time ones, probably end up wearing today, is Herod. Nice. Yeah, very good. I'll probably just add more of this because <laughs> I don't have a, I don't have a fragrance. So I'll just add more. <laughs> Oh, the pumpkin, because I still love the smell of it. That, that yeah, smells good. like fall, I guess. Oh, the atomic pumpkin? Yeah. Yeah, oh, so really what Doug and Fran, so what they did was that they took their, I don't know if you have you ever used the atomic age bay rum. Like their bay rum. And they added a, like a pumpkin top note to it. Very nice. Very nice. So it's not like overly crazy sweet, but you get the bay rum on the back end, and then you have like a pumpkin forward. Oh man! So think of it if like if you were going like like you were carving out a jack o' lantern with a bunch of pirates. <laughs> think about it that way. <laughs> you get that you get that bay sweet. You know, if you know a good bay rum, and then yeah, the bay rum is pretty good. It's pretty, pretty decent. Um, yeah. So I can imagine with the pumpkin add on top of that, that probably make it smell the whole. You know. Yeah, it it definitely adds like a like an added top note of that. You know, like the, the little bit sweet for the pumpkin, but it's not like you know like overly sweet like a candy. It's right. uh, it you know it just adds that extra like fall kind of vibe to it you know it's yeah it, i like it it's very nice i have that i have the cider house five which is a, a definite banger man that's that's fall in a bottle right there cider house five so I'm gonna try that. yes yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's nice, man. I almost brought that one today, but I used it the other day, so I wanted to, I wanted a fall scent today. So yeah, I have that set at home too. That one I do want the solid and the uh the EDP. I do like that one. 
Crystal has the uh, it's Tokyo. Almost that time of the year. <laughs> We are saw you How is that? Yeah. It smells to me. It smells like um, like candy, like classic candy, yep. like from like back in the day. Like it smells like a, you know, like it, how do you put it? It smells like burnt cotton candy. If you had to burn cotton yep. candy, I don't know if anybody ever had it, but if you ever smell burnt cotton candy and like yeah. You know, that would have smelled like me. Um, and then it has like a, what's some candy corn? That would have smelled like me. You open a bag of candy corn, that would have smelled like me. Yeah, I get a little bit of like the little root beer barrels. Yes, that's about right. That's what I get. She has some weird scent notes on that one. <laughs> yeah, but man, I had a tiny little sample mm. that somebody gave me, a tiny little bit, and... I wore it the other night because I saw, you know, when he released it. It, yeah, it, it, it's yeah. sweet. It, it's got like that kind of like root beer back end to it, like a root beer barrel. It's like you just have like, like what Dave said, like a like a like a candy bowl. It's like a candy but it's bowl. not like overly sweet. It's like not overly candy. sweet. It has like a real, you know, it's different. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely different, and it glows in the dark. Yeah. The soap and the cube. I don't know if the splash. I don't know if you tried it, Dave, but I, I know the soap I know and the cube that you got. I, about, but I know the cube, though. I got the cube. But I bought the trifecta. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, some glowing soap and cube in your bathroom. <laughs> I've been messing with glow in the dark powder, so stay tuned. Oh. <gasps> mm. That would be sweet, man, because I love glow in the dark everything, dude. Glow in the dark brush. Sold. Sold. Put me down. Just for the last time. <laughs> we need more glow in the dark in the shape, then, man. Yeah. Imagine having a, a glow in the dark scales on a straight. Wow. Oh, that'd be cool. Wouldn't that be sweet? Yeah. That'd be something yeah, different. Could, that'd be more yeah. impressive to shave in the dark with it. <laughs> Right? <laughs> just 3 a.m., midnight, you know, in the middle of the night. Oh, I'm just going to go do a yeah. straight razor shave real quick. <laughs> no lights on. <laughs> All right, we got a question, guys. Oh, I think it was the same one. He had asked about the fragrance. Okay, my bad. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely need more glow in the dark in the uh, in shave world. It would be yeah, a good shave of the day for him. I know, right? Get a UV light on there or something. Like you know, everything. Yeah. yeah. See? It used to happen. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Oh, man. So when are you guys going to come down here to, um, to the Razor Company? Come see this place in person. You know something funny? I actually went and looked up how long of a drive it is for me. If I go through Canada, it's 12 and a half hours. If I don't, it's uh, 14. Oh, that's nothing. That's nothing. <laughs> half a day. Worth it. Heck yeah, it is, man. Because so I see your post and stand in front of it. I'm envious. Like you and Jeff and everyone. Yeah. It's like yeah, you have to get down here. here. You know, get you some good, get you some good tacos from a local spot. Hook you up. Just, just I just spend, spend some money while you're here. <laughs> I made the never alone hand instead of shipping them. I delivered them to them. So I went down there about I don't know about a month or so ago. I said, nice place. You can spend a lot of money there in a hurry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like I said, I walk in, I just leave my credit card on the table. And... <laughs> All right, I, I just know. It's going to happen. I just know. I picked up uh, Lothar Red there. That's really nice. Mm. Yeah, I have that set. That's good times right there. That's good. I was saying, as soon as Jason does a meetup. Oh, he can, I'll do that. See, we were talking about this the other day. He would need like, like a like a Bruce Willis like you know mask cut out. I'll buy the action. He don't want to take pictures. Jason though. He want to put a box on his head or something. 
Because he, you know, yeah, with some rubber gloves, that's going to be it. Paper bag. <laughs> we just put him in a hazmat suit. There you go. <laughs> that's fine. He's going to be handing out gift cards. How you do it? Right? Yeah, a meetup definitely needs to happen, man. Definitely needs to happen. So, yeah, that would definitely be, gosh, that would be so cool. Get everybody down here and uh, just flood this place, take over. There's a oh, diner yeah. next door, Early Bird Diner. Shout out to the Early Bird. Amazing food. Uh, me and Crystal ate there before we came here uh, this morning. And, uh, oh, Heather, does she have a beard? I can't say. You'd have to come and see for yourself. That's all I'm saying. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's there's a, uh, a liquor store, a party store next door. So you, you know, snacks, sodas, whatever you want, or adult beverages. That's up to you. But uh, yeah, and there's a gigantic school yard park across the street that we could easily fill. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, a meetup definitely would be awesome, man. It would be so cool to have everybody here in person. So, no. Carlitos is Jason from Friday. The, it's not Jason Voorhees. <laughs> <laughs> Although it would be sweet to see him in that outfit, but no. he'll probably just make me do it. And you see a five foot Jason Voorhees, <laughs> <laughs> which I would do anyway because it's for it's for Jason because he's my boy. All right, so what we got here? Nikki Shades question. One razor you can ask Santa for this year. What is it? Mm, I want an Overlander. Overlander? Mm -hmm. Overlander. I've always wanted a Ralph Faust. Mm. I've wanted a Ralph Faust really for a couple of years. Wow. That would be sweet. That yeah. would be sweet. What about you, Gardner? I don't know. It's, I, I can't think of anything better than the that I've used than the one that I use currently, but I've never straight raised a shave, so I think that's on the docket for at some point in time. So probably some sort of straight raise. Yeah. Trust yeah. me, you're gonna enjoy it. You gotta take your time. Take your time and just you know just understand the angle. That's it. Yeah. That's the yeah, best thing to tell you. I'm it's still learning. Angry. Like I. I can do the cheeks pretty good. I'm still learning the angles, but you know, full shave. I'm still taking my time. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Watching your guys' channels helps, you know, teach me. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. I think I don't know. I really want to. Uh, gosh, there's so many that are so awesome out there. Because I mean, you know, I have a couple vintage, but I mean. Uh, like something in rhodium, you know, like the uh, uh, was it the the president? I did that that video with uh, with the president that somebody let me borrow. Thank you. Uh, that was that was gorgeous. But like modern razor, I'd have to say uh, 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 Owlsworth the uh, Dracan. Yeah. So that thing is that thing is just money. I like that thing. Very nice. Who came out with the titanium razors? This came out like a month or two ago. Titanium? Yeah. I don't know. I saw them on uh, my feed one day and I kind of looked into them. They're pricey, but they're really nice. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, there's so much stuff, man. There's so much stuff. I just wanted everything. <laughs> Titanium makes the most nice razors. Yeah. Oh, Blackbird. You know which one I want to try? I haven't tried yet. Is the uh, the Era, the one that was like partially three D printed? Mm. No, I've never seen that one. Never seen that one. Came out earlier this year or last year. It was the uh, it was the black one, I think. So and it came like a Rockwell, right, with adjustable plates. Um. Yeah. So. The era, it had like the different plates that you could buy. So I think you had like five different ones, 
um, closed, you know, straight bar, and then he also had open cone, and they're like different levels of each. And uh, yeah, it was real sweet looking. I think uh, I can't. I think uh, Shave three two six can. I think he has one. He did a video of it. A couple people did a video of it, but it was the era. Okay, I didn't look that up. Yeah, I want to say it was uh, Blackland that did that one. That was pretty sweet looking. And it had like these, uh, so like on the handle, it had like these like three little like grooves and it shipped with like these uh, like little like um, like silicone rings that you could put on for grip if you wanted to, you know, add grip to it. Well, that's cool. A pretty sweet concept. Didn't get as much love as I thought it should, but that's one that I would like to try because the cool thing about it that it was 3D printed steel, which is mind boggling. So, uh, King Gray, she said, I would like the good fill of smiles stiletto razor, mild and efficient. Yeah, because I'm hyper mild, man. I love hyper mild, medium to mild shavers. So. Yeah, it was okay. Heather said, Yeah, it was Blackland. Blackland era. Yeah, look that one up, man. It, it's, it's pretty sweet content. Uh, oh, that's what I was just talking about. Yeah, Carlitos. He said, uh, Any <coughs> thoughts on the Blackland era? Yeah, I need to try one. Definitely need to try one. Kim Gray, what is everybody's favorite fall scent? Oh, man. <laughs> Those are tough questions. Tobacco. Yeah. yeah. Um, I really have a. I'm a little bit of. I'm a person that can wear pretty much anything. I mean, but you know, a lot of depends on the event and the place. So. Um, I don't know. I mean, I've been digging I, I, I darker since it's starting to get to what I start liking in. Um, but, you know, it can change. I don't know. I mean, I'm, but I'm more of a fresh person anyway. I like fresh suits, so, you know, whatever's fresh works for me. Uh, I'm going to say it's a tie between McDuff's Autumn Cabin and Sterling Autumn Gourd. Mm. I love both of them. Yeah. When do you guys use this? I see he's bringing it back here. Rumpkin. Oh. Rumpkin. I've never really tried that. that. Yeah. Really one of my favorites he's ever done. <coughs> yeah. Not here yet, but yeah. Yeah, Rumpkin's, that's that's pretty good. It's on the way. It's on the Rumpkin's way. Rumpkin's 345, right? Yep. Yeah, it's 345. And Barrel Proof is going to be hitting the razor company soon that is a good thing i haven't tried that one yet yeah it's, it's good i got the first version i don't have the one that just came out. i don't have i don't have the one that just came out but the first version is a good it's a banger. i gotta try that one the only thing that dwarfs my soap collection is my bourbon bottle collection <laughs> <laughs> so i need to try that one yeah Oh, John Cena. All right, see you, brother. Yeah. Have a good one, man. <laughs> Peter, shaven cyclist asks, was that the voice of God in the background? Yes. <laughs> so I heard, yeah, Jason wants to know, Peter, uh, shaven cyclist, are you on your way here on your bike? <laughs> That man could clearly, like, now he could do that trek, John. He could probably ride his bike to your house within a day. <laughs> really? Peter's a beast when it comes to cycling, man. Yeah. He'd get there. He'd just knock, be at your door, like, hey, man, let me touch your mustache. And then leave. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um... No oh, man, but this has been awesome, man. Having everybody on there, I can't, I can't speak enough how, like, like I said, I just being able to do this, and, you know, with celebrities, all you three guys, it's just so awesome, man. It's just so cool. It's so cool. I, you know, like, I've only been into this for you know since August of of last year. And, 
people like you guys, you know, learn so much. You know, it's just it, um, appreciate it. Appreciate then, the invitation. Yeah. Appreciate Jason and you and everybody yeah. that's here. Cause um, you know, they reached out. It's like you want to try. I was like, you know, I guess. Yeah. Um, you know, I know we should. I mean, Jason's been a sponsor of the community for the longest. And um, you know, he just been like, giving out positive vibes and giving out stuff on a regular basis. So, you know, what can you do? No more than appreciate what he's done and you know how he transformed the community the way it is. So, it's yeah. always a given blessing. So, if you have a call, yeah, you gotta answer the phone. So, hey, you gotta make sure you come through for him. So, there's no problem. Yeah, that's right, man. That's right. That's right. And, uh, if, you know, being able to support and bring people, you know, out to us in the community, people like, you know, like AKA Brushworks, you know, and just being able to get us in, in touch and to give a, you know, outlet, stuff like that, get to know him, get to know Jared um, Gardner, I'm sorry. And, uh, you know, and his, uh, and his company, man, is just, man, just, Take all my money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, we're definitely gonna talk, man. Cause I, I do want to talk to you about an Oxford, uh, Oxford Strong brush for sure. One last question: um, How many ounces is the TRC travel mug? Uh, this is about. Eight to nine, you know, uh, from eight a.m. to nine nine a.m. This this is about the boy I measure this. <laughs> so I want to say it is a, a maybe a 16, 18 ounce tumbler. Mm. Um, but yeah, double walls, gorgeous. And this is like uh, raised, so it's textured. You know, sixteen ounce it says. But uh, I'm yeah, I'm order that. it's uh, it's on the uh, on the site. And definitely need another one. So, but uh, yeah, man, this has been awesome. We got to do this again. Each every one of you guys, you know, if there's a, a Saturday that you want to get this. Hey, it's you know, let us know and reach out to Jason. We can you know get you guys on another shave, another live. No problem. So, yeah. Sweet. Yeah. And then Gardner, how how do you feel, man? This is your first time. I was telling Angelo I was pretty nervous about this. I've never shaved in front of somebody before. Let alone <laughs> four years or whatever it was here. But no, it was, you guys you made me feel pretty comfortable. So I was happy to be able to do it on this that was a good Nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little different, but then you get into this to me it's like, you know, it's like when I listen, you know, when I watch like you know, like Dave's video, John's videos, you know, it just gets me just more just amped up, you know, because this is our lifestyle and you know our hobby, and it just it, it it keeps that motivation, it keeps that you know fresh for me. So uh, just seeing all what everybody else is doing, you know, their experiences and stuff, everybody's content, just 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 love it all, man. So much positivity, and I just. So good, so good. Right, so, you know, it's the spice of life, and there's a lot in this hobby, and that's what makes it enjoyable. Yeah, yeah. So if I can yeah. say one yeah, thing, it's family, man. if I can say one thing, I just want to say thank you, everybody, um, and just to add positivity for everybody, so I can go out of here with a good bang. Um, keep doing your thing, keep driving for great things, keep doing the best you can do, no matter what you go through, no matter how you go through it, just do the greatest you can. Um, no one's judging you, no one's gonna make fun of you. We all real, we all got problems, and hey, life happens. But just keep moving, keep driving, keep doing what you do best. And enjoy your all weekend. Cause uh, Saturday, you got a full day ahead of you. Get some food, get some drinks, enjoy your weekend. Um, you know, I'm for a safe day, you already know. Right on. Yes, that's what we're talking about. <laughs> right on. Yeah. <laughs> All right, fellas. Thank you, Jason. Open up. Everybody, you know, enjoy your weekend. You know, this you is too. awesome. You guys want to do this again? You know, just keep in touch. 
you know, it's an open forum, so be glad to do this again anytime, man. Oh, hold on a second. He's got something. First person to call the store wins a $20 gift Go. Okay, I don't know if you guys heard that. As soon as we get done, first person to call the razor company, the store, call here, gets a $20 gift card. First person to call. Ready? You guys, Set, I got a phone call. Go. Bye. <laughs>